Oh, hi, Tommy. I hope the shift wasn't too bad. Dr. Bradstone, good to see you. You too. You've recovered well. Yeah, look at it. The wonders of anomalous medicine. <laughs> so you wanted to speak with me? Yes, Sakem decided that you're more than well equipped to oversee an actual test. Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry, we won't have you testing anything that would be of significant danger. We'll be testing a safe SCP. Ah, oh, that's good then. Come, let's go get some breakfast. Ugh, casserole again. I think I might skip lunch. So what exactly are we testing? When you were in records, I'm guessing you didn't read up on any of the safe SCPs. No, I read through as many as I could, safe included. Oh, you really are thorough. So you'd know about Tommy then? SCP-507? Yes, so you've read his file. I skimmed it. Jenny told me to focus on the containment procedures. Well, he's right here. Hey, Tommy! Come, we want to talk with you. Hey, how are you? I'm good. This is Dr. Bradstone. Pleased to meet you. We're going to be carrying out a test at some point soon. You've had two weeks since your last shift, I see? Four, actually. It could occur at any moment. We'll be testing what impact the distance you walk in the alternate dimension will have on your location and hours. This will track your steps when you turn it on. Good, thanks. We'll use your GPS signal to find you when you re-emerge. Great, will do. Remember, Tommy has no control over when he'll shift between alternate dimensions, nor where he'll go. His ability is far from a blessing. Hey, you alright? I am, thanks. I hear you and Wolf are testing Tommy. We are. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Don't be too sure about that. Anyhow, let's get to business. Erling wants us to check the reactor. The reactor? The Foundation can't risk connecting any of its sites to the National Grid, so instead we have our own power plant. I understand, but why do we need to check it so often? This thing goes off daily. We can't afford a power cut. Why are we here? Couldn't they get lower seconds. personnel to do this? The truth is, we're more qualified. Lower personnel they usually pull from the lowest parts of society. The class theory are even worse. The Foundation gets their little lab rats from death row. They're virtually all monstrous criminals. Reaction. Although I can't Game. say I sometimes feel bad for them. Seconds. Most of us don't have a very positive background. That's just the foundation in a nutshell. No matter how educated or whether we're paid or not, the circumstances that brought us here were unfortunate. Five, four, three, two, one. Henry? Hello, Wolf. Um, there's been an executive decision to transfer several new anomalies from Site-17, namely SCP-458 and SCP-343. I have the details. That's fine. Leave them on the table. I'll deal with them later. Also, about the recent containment breach, I believe you may need to speak with the O5s. Yes, I ought to. Are you sure you want to go through with this test? I understand if you may need some therapy. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Good, let's get back to business. Come in. 
Hello, Tommy. Please, tell me SCP-507. Why are you here? Wolf recommended I interview you before the experiment. <laughs> okay, then. How did you end up in the asylum? I can't really say. It wasn't much of a shame, though. I didn't really have very many friends or family. Hmm. Neither do most people here, according to Jenny. It's strange, though, being here. I feel like I'm where I should be. People accept me for what I am. It's better than normal life? With my condition? I think it is. But what if you didn't have your ability? Do you resent it? I don't exactly dislike it. It's kind of a part of me now. Even if it can take you to horrible places? There are always downsides to where you are, Bradstone. If anything, I feel sorry for you. You researchers have to sacrifice people all the time. That must be horrible. Deciding if someone should die. It's ultimately a matter of judging if it's for the greater good, or whether the risk is necessary. Hmm. Thank you. It was good talking with you. Huh, no problem. I hope to see you soon. Oh, and, um, one more thing. Tommy? Tommy? Attention, SCP-507 has re-emerged in Block B. Please remain calm, retrieval efforts will begin shortly. Requesting today's incineration be delayed immediately. Sorry, a delayed incineration needs at least 24 hours notice. Even in emergencies? Come on, there must be something here that turns this thing off. Reaction in 60 seconds. I can help here. Sorry, but this zone has been warmed off. I'll let her through. I've unlocked the security hatch. You should be able to get him out if you're quick. Right. Reaction in 30 seconds. Tommy! Take my hand! Come on... Reaction in 15 seconds. <laughs> hey, can't lose any more Seven, person now. Six, five, four, three, two, one. If I'd been one second later, we'd both be dead. But you weren't. It's just difficult for me to be positive, I guess. There's plenty of reasons to be cheery. We now have responsibility for 458. There are worse transactions to be made. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It could always be worse. We'll have this available every lunchtime. I don't know if I can eat that much pizza. It's either that or the casserole. <laughs> You... you wish to speak with me? Tell us about the containment ritual first. There's no reason for concern. Everything's under control now. We'll send you a full report as soon as possible. Tell us what happened on the first. Well, there's not much to it. SCP-049 escaped. We immediately isolated the threat. Then I organized the recontainment of the anomaly. This will all be in the report. I'm sure all staff follow the set protocol. Wait, what's now the anomaly breach containment? Was there a lapse in security? A simple human miscalculation? Was a test carried out on 049 involving a human? No. Good. Because you know that testing a human on 049 would be a violation of protocol. I am. 
Dr. Jones was responsible. He carried out the test without my permission. He died during the breach. Unfortunate. An inspector will be sent to make sure everything is in order. Since maintaining a standard was your responsibility, you'll receive a temporary pay cut. Yes, 05. Thank you. Don't expect us to be as forgiving in the future. 